Alright boys, in this one we'll be covering an old classic, we'll be cloning pancake swap and showing you how to make your own pancake swap script. Quick reminder, if you want something like this or any other web project done or maybe trading bot or crypto token or uh, oh come on, like anything to do with code and like you know where the experts, email down below, reach out to me and my team and we'll get it done for you. Um, but yeah, uh, in this one we'll be cloning pancake swap. Um, you know, this is one that we've covered before on like the channel, and you know it's been a while, so you know we get to do like the updated version, and you guys loved it. So, and these guys are added a lot of stuff, so this should be pretty interesting. Um, right now I'm not on the main page, and you'll see right here in a second. You know, let's go there real quick because I'm having fights with this godforsaken bunny that like lagged my computer like a motherfucker. Um, um, as you can see, I'm also on Ubuntu, so that may be a bit of the reason why, but um, I'm not liking this bunny. Okay, alright, um, so yeah, we'll try, we'll try to like over it quick. It shouldn't be too, it shouldn't be too uh, difficult, but again, like I said, if it does get a little bit difficult, guys, it can be a little bit technical. Email down below, reach out to me, me and my team will get it, uh, get this or something like this done for you. Alright, um, shout out Pancake Swap, shout out the Pancake team. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, Aris, actually, let me leave this page because I'm not, let, let me show you when I say lag, okay? Like the frames, the frames, the birds. Okay, um, so let's let's hide here for a second. Uh, or better yet, let's just get rid of this damn bunny. What am I doing? Um, I think another friend. Another friend. Alright, perfect. Alright, so um yeah, alright. So for those of you who don't know, Pancake Swap is an automated market maker on the Binance Smart Chain. That is nerd super nerd talk to say. Um it's a place where you go and like swap cryptocurrencies, swap your crypto tokens. Um it has some other features as well. It has farms and pools. Farms are just like um places where you go and stake your tokens and it adds liquidity to the site. Um um you can earn from there you have different your farms you can go in uh, it has pools something similar to farms um, i like seeing this view here similar to farms same concept you earn tokens um as well as a couple other things lottery um uh, nft and all sort of things so and they added like they updated the site a lot since we we came here at uh, the first time we tried to do we know nothing and that's exactly how we'll be going through it today again knowing nothing starting from scratch um going through like all the the ins and outs of like how you get it done and set up for yourself um as the time has passed we still know roughly nothing <laughs> and um but yeah we'll, we'll 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 do our best all right so yeah, pancake swap a place where you go and trade like tokens and um we are going to if we can get rid of this bunny all right um make our own um uh, clone of it all right so pancake swap is actually who um uh, hosted on like github so the code is there on like github you can go get it and download the code and which we'll show you to do we'll just do right now actually um, you just do that by going like pancake, pancake swap, GitHub. All right, it should be about the first thing that comes up. You should see the, um, a couple repositories actually here, and that's just like the different um, uh, pieces of the project. So right here you have like the front end, and you have all these different pieces of the project actually like work together to make the project like what it is that you you interact with. Um, for now, we're just kind of continuing with the front end. That's how we like to start because you kind of get like a feel for um, everything else that you'll be doing. Um, and so when you go to the first thing I want you guys to do, and this was a big one for all of you guys, I want you to go to like um, select master. Okay, and this will just make sure we get like a stable version, nothing that's like too bugging on you guys. And we'll do it the easy way. Um, we'll do the easy way you can also like um download it by like copying this here but we'll just do it the easy way and download zip i should already have this like downloaded but why not let's download it again um you know um shout out to my pc for crashing 10 million times all right but um yeah once you do have it downloaded here you are gonna wanna um go find it 
yeah so once you have it like extracted here and like your desktop and so for windows you can use something like 7 zip or uh, winari or windows should have this like built in all right you're gonna want to go to the folder that you have extracted all right inside where the files are where these files are okay and you're gonna want to open a terminal all right and the way um, on Windows you should be you should be able to see like open PowerShell or on Windows 11 you should see um show more and like open terminal or open PowerShell all right so, but I'm just gonna open a terminal because I'm on like Ubuntu all right because we're being different okay um, and you're gonna want a couple things actually so to go back here to our browser we're gonna want uh, Node.js all right and you should know what node.js is if you don't node.js is just like an engine where you can run code uh, this guy is the name and so we're gonna download that um again you're gonna do windows you can do windows installer you just go ahead and download that i don't need it because i already have node.js but once it finishes downloading you're just gonna go through all the like steps and it will install right it should be super simple all right uh and that should install your node.js and then you're gonna want something else called yarn all right now yarn is just like a package manager something kind of like node um js but basic not really actually it's it's like a uh it's just something used to download files basically that's the simple explanation all right and you're gonna want to um download that all right so once you go there you're gonna want an installation you can go straight from google all right and you're gonna want to go back to your terminal that you open and you're just gonna want to um if you have your node.js installed properly by the way it should you should be able to do something like node-v and you should be able to see something come up or node.js slash v either one and something should come up all right so um but once you do have that your node.js set up then you want to do um copy it you want to paste from here so that will just do npm install yarn right i have to do uh this copy here i already have this so i don't really need it i have to do sudo because i'm on like uh, uh ubuntu but if you open this in powershell you don't have to do that just uh paste um just paste the command all right and it should install it. like i said i already have it installed but you just p copy paste and um it should like install yarn for you all right it you have to do sudo if you're on ubuntu or you know, you do sudo or uh, you can do um yeah you do sudo uh, or but on windows it should just uh install just fine all right but, and once you have your yarn installed you're gonna want to come back here to your ter terminal that we open right and you're gonna want to do yarn in install all right that should work that should go fetch your files that you need i um should already have some of these files so it may be a download a little bit quicker for me than you but this this could take some time um so you may want to get yourself some drink get some coffee um you may want to like open up the email down below because this can be a lot of bullshit and i tell you i i'm warning you guys from now like i'm making it as simple as but bullshit will follow shortly um you know um this is probably the easy part but i hope i hope you're able to follow along but um case it does get too difficult uh, uh, uh for some of you guys just um look in the description my email is down below send me an email and me and my guys will take care of it or any other wood project for you always gotta show all right um so once we're done here um uh and it says you know success or whatever you're fine can i use you can use control l and clear it i use control l or you can do cls on windows and it should clear your screen not that you need to do that but um once that's done and it has it's all like installed what you want to do next is you want to type yarn dev okay um and what that will do is that should start like i it should give you a link you can follow to open open up your version of like the pancake on your computer all right i can just go here copy link open link or right, i just copy copy it and paste it for the sake of you guys but whatever the link is for you you're gonna sound on the ps it and like go in here on your computer all right i'm just gonna close out some of these real quick all right um while this is loading this could take a little while as well depending on how fast your computer is um it's crazy day we have in crypto right like 10 percent like drawdown in like bitcoin right Good thing I wasn't trading today, but um, yeah, I mean, if 
if I did show as well, what's showing on the other card that moves? Show the tower my Bitcoin, my Bitcoin maxes and Ethereum maxes. Leave it in the comment, guys. Uh, how is it going with the trading um, in your crypto? All right. Um, yeah, and once you do your yarn dev, as we showed like um, uh, down below, if you look in the, the URL bar, you should have this running on your own computer now. So to demonstrate this, um, hopefully without my computer crashing for the umpteenth million time if it does crash guys okay like see you in the next one um but uh once you do have it running here you should be able to make some of your edits and like the um uh this is gonna take a little while here as i see um as it like uh tries to compile yeah i think it's like still at a real time compile something so it takes a little second here when you just um, load it up, but it shouldn't thereafter um, once you try to um, continue to use. So now I can go back and it should just be all right, pretty cool. All right. Um, yeah, and you should have your own like ver you should have your own version here running on your like local computer. Now to demonstrate this, I'm just gonna go back here and get rid of our dreaded bunny. Um, you know. Um, by making a small edit here um, and then we're going to show how to edit the rest um, so I just go here I'm going to open up my um, my code editor which I have Atom um, I, I use Atom but you can use anything that you want um, just gonna minimize this looking for Atom gonna actually minimize this as well Uh, and you can see the FPS um, lags uh, incoming guys actually I'm gonna like I'm gonna close this real quick so to just to triple make sure we don't have any crashes I think it's Ubuntu's fault like I think you're if you're on Windows you're probably fine or uh, thank god all right um and so I'm just we can get that back anytime I'm just gonna open it up uh, in my uh, well, crazy how that works right guys I think we crashed okay <laughs> definitely not uninstalling but again if you don't want to put up with bullshit like this email down below reach out to me, me and my guys me and my team will handle all this bullshit for you so you don't have to but um <laughs> no seriously I just think we crashed I don't know what's wrong with OBS and Ubuntu or something like this but we manage we manage but to um, pick it up where we left off um so you're just gonna want to open this in your editor i use adam but you can use whatever um editor you want notepad like whatever um you're gonna want to add the folder that we um we downloaded earlier um with your code um so you're just gonna want to go ahead to find that folder i put it on my desktop or you just navigate to wherever you had it and like go add it right or and then um i'm gonna go to um i'm gonna edit the home page like remove that bunny because the bunny looks just like a motherfucker all right so um just gonna go once I have my code here. I'm just gonna go to source, um, uh, views, um, home, uh, components, and then I am going to go on here with that TSS. Now, if you look at this code here, you can see that it's all in like TypeScript, which is like a combination of like JavaScript, and I think it's using some React here, so it looks um you know it looks like react so if you're familiar with react and javascript you should be able to like manage here it shouldn't be too much um but if you're not you can always look that up as well as we'll go through some more edits um you know to um uh, to show you what's up but i just want to get rid of this body for now you know? so for me i want to go to um home home and this is by the way our home you know view so um if you want to edit it like the something in the home it's like here but we're specifically going for the bunny um, so i'm going to go to components here and i just want to get rid of um these here all right and this now we should um get rid of um we're here for safety okay this now we should get rid of mr bunny for us you can see it says compiled because uh, we made that change and um look no more bunny right and no well, well we still lag a little bit but you know not the lag so and let me see if i can put it back without crashing if we crash guys i will see you in the next video i just have to say but um 
and again like if you want anything like this done um my email down below reach out to me and my guys will try we'll get it or any other web project done for you just <laughs> So that is that if I crash. I don't think we crash, but yeah, um, we've crashed a couple of times and we put it back. You see, your bunny comes back. So we need to put uh, the frames, the frames, and the bunny away. Wait, and the bunny away. Okay, and now you can see we await our bunny. So now we have our um, front end all set up and we should be able to make our changes. Um, I don't want this video to get too long so we end it here as well as I'm afraid of crashing but um, maybe Windows in the next one but you should all my Windows people should be able to get along. You should comment down below guys you want me to switch back to Windows like what do you think? Um, I'm, 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 I'm kind of enjoying Ubuntu so far it looks ni nice and happy you know it's kind of looking like a bit like Android I like it I like it but um yeah guys um this was this is it for this uh video again if you want something like this don't reach out um email down below reach out to me and my team will get this or any other web project done for you same as always and i will see you in the next one